Okay, and next up is going to be the Grand Game Book Number One, a little bit of adventure written by Tom Elliott. It is 434 pages, four dollars ninety nine cents. It's available on Kindle Unlimited. Here's the author's description: One man, assassin, caster, a new world, and a game that is as brutal as it is complex. Michael finds himself in the realm of the Forever Kingdom with no memory of how he got there and who he is. Even so, he must participate in the grand game and forge a new destiny for himself. Dropped into a dungeon of monsters and strange magics, would you survive in a game where to lose means death? Alone, with little more than his wits to aid him, Michael must advance as a player, slay his foes, and gain experience, all while navigating the intrigues around him and discovering his purpose. A world of powers, forces, and mysterious factions, a game with endless opportunities for advancement and power. Okay, um, that's... Not an accurate statement. Um, There isn't a one-death system in the story, but other than that, it's it's accurate. Um, This is a good story. The story starts out okay. Uh, It gets much better as it progresses, though. The first half of the story is mostly a solo journey with the main character finding himself in this new world, um, going through caves um, and and adventures. He he, he knows that everybody's transported to this world, and he... Um, is is trying to find an advantage in being the last player out of the tutorial safe zone, I guess you can call it. Um, And so he travels after everybody into this place where where they're supposed to be tested um, about how well they survive against monsters and traps and things. And so that's really the first half of him him making a conscious choice to be last for a supposed advantage. And we see how he uses that in addition to not choosing a a non- uh, like a great combat option or, or a magic caster instead he chooses stealth as a class and seeing how he uses that to to his advantage there um the second half of the story is where the story expands out where he starts um, meeting other people who, who have been transported to this this um world for testing um and going into adventures finding the factions um you know navigating that world and, and, and kind of fulfilling or not fulfilling the the quest of this kind of dark faction in, in this world and this underground maze of, of monsters and traps and, and tests and 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 things it's actually again as the story progresses it really does get like a lot better once the main character has someone to talk to once you see the faction system um and the other players um, I think the story really gets a lot, a lot better at, at that point. And not that the beginning is bad or anything. It's just that oh, it's just not quite as good as like the middle and, and end of the story because there's just more complexity. It's just more, a little more intricate stuff. On the game mechanics side of things, the story is well done. There's the fundamental systems that aren't really new. Levels, classes, skills, pool of resources. Uh, this main character has is a smart main character. He's a stealth. And the system gets player, character players three slots to choose from. Um, so he gets three potential classes that can be advanced here and there. Uh, I appreciate the main character was never too overpowered. And he used his skills intelligently so the growth was eventually felt earned. Overall, the story has a good bit of action adventure with some mild story shifts. Um, in the mid section to a large group and action stuff, which I liked. It was never tedious, and I finished the story in just a couple sittings. So for me, it gets a score of 7.7 out of 10. That's a really good review score. Um, the Grand Game Book Number 1 with a score of 7.7 out of 10.